So as somebody that was actually brought up into religion, because I was, uh, I'm glad my parents chose to do so. Um, because as I grew older, I've formed my own independent decisions of what I wanted to believe. With uh, the conclusions I have made, I can say that I've formed them with all the proper insight and education that I needed. I didn't just go into it blindly, um, which I couldn't have done unless my parents hadn't have introduced me to the culture. They were also super open-minded and never forced anything on me. So I was presented with all the information at an early age, and it taught me to be compassionate and tolerant of everyone else and their beliefs. Well, hello. <laughs> me and my friend Shogar are here to talk about the negative effects of raising children with religion. This is a sensitive subject, and we'll try to be as respectful as possible. That being said, this does not diminish the fact that there is irrefutable evidence that religion is an extremely dated way of thinking. And teaching a child something so black and white when there is no real evidence to support the beliefs taught is, on the whole, a negative. Simply saying it teaches children good morals is lazy and much too thin, and we need to look deeper into the subject. We are not here to debate that chil children should be hidden from religion, being there is no benefit from that. If a child is old enough to ask a question, they are old enough to have an honest answer. We are here to debate that the child should not be told definitively, you are a Mormon child, or you are a Catholic child, being identity is something that comes much later in life. If a child has some, such a strict way of thinking at a young age, it may cause one to be less open-minded mind, and flexible later in life. It takes a, it takes a certain maturity to understand concepts of religion. If a child cannot understand on a whole what they are being taught, is there any benefit from being raised with religion? Thank you. All right, the first side, can you present your four arguments? Okay, so my first argument is that it teaches kids good morals. Being brought up with the whole do unto others as you would have done to you is a great lesson that most religions teach children at a very early age. It teaches them to become more tolerant of everyone else as they grow up. Um, it teaches them to also share. The prophets are also good role models, like Buddha, Muhammad, Jesus. They were all very simplistic enlightened teachers that went around and told each other to love everybody, such as Mary Magdalene, who was a supposed prostitute, and Judas, until they betrayed him. And it teaches forgiveness. It teaches kids to not hold grudges. So my points are that um, being brought up in religion, uh, people, most people are the change that we see in the world. They have more understanding and those people, those leaders that I'm talking about are like Gandhi, Dalai Lama, uh, Mother Teresa, Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Um, my second point is children raised in religion are most likely more disciplined than the ones that aren't. And I'm not saying that they, the ones that aren't raised in religion are completely like disobedient or whatever. It's just that the ones that are raised in religion have more understanding of what um, is right and what is wrong. Religion also gives kids answers to the big questions that we don't really know the answers to. Everyone wants to believe that after we die, we go to a nice shiny heaven place where they greet us with trumpets and gold. Um, and as kids grow up, death is a very hard thing to learn about. And it gives them an ease of mind until they grow older and have the enough knowledge to form their own decision about what they think happens in the afterlife. It also shows kids that sometimes life can be tough, but there's always good outcomes. like karma. If you do something bad, something bad will happen. Do something good, something good will happen. And all the stuff that happened to Jesus' followers, like they just kept believing, and good things finally came after they were ridiculed forever. Could you give your two points each? Yeah. Okay, great. All right, so now opportunity for the other side to respond. You have two points each and you have four minutes. Yep. Fear. Fear is universally viewed as a negative and is also one of the primary ways of enforcing religious beliefs on a child. Not going to heaven or hell is a common way of telling a child why he should not do something that is against the beliefs of the household. Instead of explaining to a child why something is wrong, they are instead subjected to fear and unable to understand why. Also, fear is not being a, a fear of not being accepted by others other religious peers and family members can cause much anxiety in a child and hamper them from being more of an individual later in life. Um, our second argument is ignorance. Uh, in a lot of cases, children who have been raised strictly on religious values are ignorant and underexposed to the world. They grow up having a harder time adjusting to social norms, which in turn make them awkward and friendless. Uh, 
first the judgment of other kids and later the judgment of other people who don't believe what they're doing. So in other words, as they're growing up as kids, they become very judgmental towards other kids who aren't in the same religious belief that they are. And then when they grow to become young adults or you know, men and women, they have a harder time. Uh, they become discriminatory towards like, you know, I mean, for example, you have uh, some people who believe Muslims are the root of all the world's problems. And the truth is, personally, I've grown up with a lot of Muslims and they are one of the best people in the world. But that's just what some parents are teaching their kids and it shouldn't be like that. Uh, they discriminate and hate because of the values that they have learned growing up. It is a, it is a very backwards thinking and it's very unfair to the kids. Many studies have been done that children raised in religion have a hard time distinguishing fantasy from reality. Many biblical stories are treated as reality when they are absolutely false. A um, good example would be uh, Noah living in a giant fish for three days, and that is taught to a child as fact. While all these stories have a good moral theme, most of the time one can teach these children uh, a good moral theme without the tall tale. And our final argument is, uh, is somewhere along the lines for the parents. The parents, they become tyrants. Generally, uh, enforcing this religious belief, they, they become overly strict, and the kids grow up to either hating them and or fearing them. In my case, I feared my parents because they were so strict and very religious. And you know, whatever I did, I always had in the back of my head, you know, what would Jesus do? No, no, what would my parents do? You know, so it was, uh, it was that fear in me that really got me to believe what I believe. But at the same time. You know, as parents, they become so overly strict that it starts to affect the kid and his personality as they grow. And speaking from uh, personal experience growing up, I taught, uh, I taught my parents were the world and I feared them more than I loved them. And it's just that thinking that is that, that we don't believe should be the reason to raise your kids with religion. So. Okay, now you guys have one minute to prepare before an open debate for